Hey everybody, Steven here, and today covering the NZXT Boom Arm. NZXT is getting into the microphone game and the Boom Arm game here. You probably noticed that I had the NZXT capsule here. I'm not going to be covering that in this video. I'm going to be doing a separate review for that. But this video just covering the Boom Arm. This is $100. I've been using the Blue Compass here. It's been great. This is $100 as well. It's got a good reach to it. I have my Shure SM7B on this and it's worked great for me. I'm hoping that this works just as good, maybe a little bit better. The thing that I have noticed with the Blue Compass here is that if you're going to use a light microphone, I just had this issue with the Rocket Torch microphone, this thing isn't gonna be good for that. With this, it just needs something that's a little bit heavier. So what happens is you tighten these tension springs all the way to the max and if it's a light microphone it still shoots it all the way up i'm going to be testing that out with this hopefully that's not the case here but this seems very comparable to the blue compass here so that may be something that happens with this you're going to need a heavier microphone the capsule here seems just by picking this up like it weighs a decent amount so i'll uh get this capsule on here, I'll use the Shure SM7B and then I'll actually put the Rocket Torch on there and we'll check just to see what happens with this. Let's talk about the specifications first here. Dimensions. Something that they're going to do on this, I've noticed it with other packaging, is they, they give it to you in centimeters and then convert over to inches later with something else. So I've done the conversion here, but we'll give it in centimeters to begin with. Length, 108.1 centimeters. The width is 9.65 centimeters. And then the height is 5.75 centimeters. Going over to inches with this. The length is 42.6 inches. The width is 3.8 inches. And then the height is 2.2 inches. So the materials, extruded aluminum structure with PC ABS shell. Maximum horizontal reach is 31.5 inches. Maximum vertical reach is 32.5 inches. I believe that is very comparable to the blue compass here. Maximum weight is up to 2.6 pounds. The thread is the US standard 5 eighths inch. And then the boom arm threading here, we have the male 3 8 inch. The boom arm adapter is the female 3 8 to male 5 8 inch adapter. And then the max desk thickness of this, it's going to be 5 centimeters, which is almost 2 inches. It's 1.97 inches with this. And this does have a 2 year warranty. Enough talking on my part though, let's get this thing open. I pre-cut everything, so hopefully it opens easy. Uh, warranty card here, and then let's slide this guy out. And that, oh, we've got our threading right here. Don't forget that. So you have your adapter here. You're going to need that. We have our base. This is what actually attaches to the desk here. And so it's got a good width on it. Once again, very comparable to the blue compass here. On the bottom, you can see it actually has the rubber padding. Most of these do so that it's not going to destroy your desk. And then let's look at the actual arm here. That is it. Looks clean. I like the symbol with this NZXT versus saying blue compass on this. And then if we flip this over, this is where you can see your tension springs. You'll find the same tension springs on this as well. They look solid, easy to turn. Obviously we have our threading down here at the end. It looks clean and simple. One of the things that this has, this has this as well, is you do have the cable management kind of right here where you can hide that thicker cable because most likely you're gonna be using uh, some type of microphone with this potentially, and I don't know if this is the case with the capsule, but if you have that XLR cable here, I believe this is actually just a USB cable, but this being a little bit thicker, it does hide that, and this looks like it has a deep enough group to hide actually an XLR cable, or if this potentially has that USB cable here. So next, I need to get this thing set up. It shouldn't be difficult. I'm literally going to put this to the desk and then pop this in, but I need to undo all of this. And then 
I'm going to come over with voiceover. I'll be using the microphone with this and I'm actually going to go ahead and use the capsule for that. So we'll at least get a test with the capsule versus just the shirt here. And then we'll get some video showcasing what this actually looks like all set up. And I'll actually try and make a comparison, at least a general comparison with the reach with this as well so that you guys can see that. Um, I do like the matte black finish to this. It's probably gonna pick up some fingerprints just be mindful of that. I can already see it's kind of starting to pick up some right now. Um, and then it has a label here at the bottom, and this is just pointing out that the tension screw for this, if you need to tighten this in terms of this levering over from this, right, from the base here, that's going to be on the bottom. And you can find that right there. So something to be mindful of, and then you can peel that sticker off. So let's go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to be using the NZXT capsule to do the voiceover work. I'm just going to talk about a handful of things with this in terms of making a general comparison to the blue compass here, and then just my general thoughts on this as a boom arm. So let's go ahead and cut over to that. All right, so this is going to be the NZXT capsule microphone that I'm using right now, and my initial impression is this sounds really good. I'll have my official review out in a couple weeks, so check back soon for that. The boom mic arm installation, though, was very quick and easy. You just place the anchor where you want it and then screw it tight against your desk. After that, you just place the arm inside the anchor, utilizing the peg that's on it. Quick, simple, and easy to do, which should be the case for any boom mic arm that's similar to this. The blue compass was exactly the same. I checked the length of the NZXT against the blue compass, and to my surprise, it was actually a little bit longer, close to half an inch, which is great for me as my desk is six foot long, so I need any extra length for this that I can get. I checked it vertically also to make sure it just wasn't in my head, and then I noticed the extra length is actually coming from the base, which is slightly taller than the blue compass. Next, I installed the capsule microphone and then made a couple adjustments to the tension arms to get this just right. I ran the cable through the cable management space and the cover is different from the blue compass as it's a long sheet versus a handful of small tabs. So you have one cover on the long and one on the short portion of the mic arm and I really like this over the tabs that the blue compass has because it gives this a cleaner look. I do wish these had a clip on the base though, which would hold the cable on the actual base. You could run it under the small space between the clamp and the base, but it just wouldn't look as clean in my opinion as a clip actually holding it in the middle. After that, I was all set and started swapping out mics and looking for any potential problems. And really the only one I found was the NZXT capsule actually comes with a smaller threading than what the boom mic arm comes with. So you get an adapter with the capsule. I recommend screwing this into the mic first and then onto the boom arm utilizing the base screw plate that will tighten the mic screw at the level you want. This is where a potential problem can occur as this gets really tight easily. So when you try to remove it, you might need a tool. I actually had to use channel lock pliers to get this loose. With this, I recommend using a hand towel or something to protect the finish on the screw as it ends up scraping some of the matte black finish off if you're not careful. The only other thing I noticed is that the blue compass has a little more range of motion for the mic adapter joint. It can move towards the small arm just a little more than the NZXT, although I'm not sure how many people would need that extra range of motion as it would be mainly needed if the mic is set straight up instead of hanging upside down. With that being said, I personally use my mic this way, which is why I noticed it in the first place, but it's a very minor thing. After using the capsule for a little while, I ended up swapping this out with my rocket torch without any issues, and then I set up my Shure SM7B. With that though, I didn't swap out the threading adapter on it, which would look better with the black one the NZXT mic arm comes with, but the one on this is actually a pain to get off, so I just didn't mess with it. The first thing I did notice with this though is that the XLR cable is easy to get plugged into the mic unlike my blue compass mic arm which has the tension knobs on the front side compared to the NZXT which are on the back side. This got me thinking about whether or not I actually had my blue compass mic arm backwards and that actually can't happen with how these work but it did finally occur to me that depending on what side of the desk you mount either of these the tension knobs will be facing towards or away from you. These are opposites here as the NZXT mic arm will have the tension knobs facing away from you if you mount it on the left side of your desk 
and towards you if you mount this on the right side of your desk. The blue compass is the opposite of this. This is a minor thing of course, but this does keep the NZXT logo facing towards me and the tension knobs facing away from me, which is just a way better look in my opinion. So overall, the NZXT mic arm is really, really great. I would take this over the blue compass because this has the extra length, although that is very small, but it is still there. The cable management covers make this look cleaner and the knobs are facing away from me, creating a more aesthetically pleasing look. So that's going to be it for this video. I definitely think this is a great option for anybody looking for a boom mic arm right now. Unfortunately, this is actually sold out on the NZXT website, but in the description, I will have a link for the Amazon listing and the NZXT.com listing for this. Hopefully you can find one really soon, but if you have any questions on this, let me know in the comment section and I can make sure that I answer those for you there. I will also have a link for the NZXT capsule. Hopefully this gives you an idea of what this microphone sounds like. And then if you want to check back here pretty soon, I will have that review up hopefully in the next week or two. So that's going to be it for this video, everybody. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with my content, specifically the NZXT capsule microphone review coming up, hit the subscribe button for me. And as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.